Hey everybody, Buddy Cosplay here. Welcome down to the basement that's been flooded twice this year. Makes it really hard to cosplay, but yeah, we deal with it. Uh, that's what happens when you have a secret underground evil lair. It kind of gets damp every once in a while. So anyway, this video today is going to cover something that a lot of people will use during their cosplay experience. Not necessarily armor building or anything like that, or even makeup, but prosthetics. You can buy a lot of prosthetics such as horns and scars and things like that uh, at stores all the time. Uh, but not all the Halloween stores are open year round and sometimes it's difficult to find ones that are custom to you. These are going to be pretty generic so they won't be really custom for your exact shape and, and contours of your face. Uh, but it's an easy way to make your own prosthetics for whatever build you're going for. Uh, the video we're going to do is going to show you how to make several horns that you can use, which I will use in a Darth Maul makeup, which is right here. I've also got some scars that I made, which you can use for just about anything. And the good old fashioned bullet hole. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to show you how to make these, make a little cast for them, and that way you can reproduce them as many times as you want and uh, make your own custom latex prosthetics. In order to make a cast to later make latex pieces out of, you first need to have a sculpt. Um, since I'm going to do this, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple sculpts in one. I have two scars, a bullet hole, and four horns that I'm going to use for Darth Maul or a demon or something like that. Can't really see too much, but there's some detail in it. The edges are really smooth, uh, things like that. I won't go too much into sculpting in this video. Actually, I'll be not go into it at all, but we will in a later video. And I just have it stuck on a piece of foam board. This is going to be the base for my mold that I'm going to create. I've also got a couple other pieces that I've cut. I've got two ends. And I'm going to basically make a box and I have two sides. And what I'm going to do is basically make this completely solid with the sides and some hot glue. So I'm going to put this whole thing together and when it's done we'll be able to pour some plaster of Paris in here. You can also use materials such as hydrocal, which a lot of people use for life cast and things like that. But for a purpose of something as simple as a mold like this, um, plaster of Paris will work just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and construct the box. Now the box is pretty much done at this point. All I'm going to do is clean it up a little bit off these edges and I'm going to make the whole thing watertight because I'm going to put some pretty thin plaster of Paris in here and it would leak through areas like here where you could see through it and basically I'm going to cover this thing up until or I'm sorry fill it up with the plaster of Paris until it covers everything give it time to set um, take this apart pull all the clay out and then I'll be able to make latex, latex molds of all of these pieces so I'm just going to finish up by sealing all these edges off with some hot glue. Now that the box is all complete, all we need to do is prepare our plaster of Paris and fill this up above the pieces and give it time to dry.
it's been overnight and this should be good and dry. Next thing we're going to do is just loosen this up and take this apart. <clears throat> just basically taking our box apart, taking the hot glue that's holding it together. And if you're lucky, everything will pop out just like that. You're not always this lucky, but this will make cleaning this 10 times easier. As you can see, we have a pretty solid negative image of all those things. So if we want to make a positive, we'll just use some latex in there. But before we do that, we're just going to clean this up just a little bit. <clears throat> this is pretty soft, so be careful not to ruin your mold. I'm just going to take around some of the edge. We can mark this and label it as we wish, or we just go straight into creating latex pieces. Now, if you want solid latex, you basically just pour it in there and give it time to dry. If you want something thinner, just a layer or two, you can brush on some layers and remove it at that point, or you can even fill it in what's called skinning it. You fill it with latex, come back in about 40 minutes to an hour and then pour the rest out and they'll have a nice skin that'll be much thicker than if you just put one layer on. We are going to do some straight pours. I just have some latex and something I can control a little better than that bottle. I'm just going to drip it into these spots. Getting a wet finger. Making sure I'm going beyond the edge so we have a good flat edge. And fill them up. You can cast this with a lot of other things besides latex. Latex is just one of many options. And I'm just breaking that surface tension just to make sure there's a little bit of an edge. And now we'll just give these time to dry. So that's it, that's how you make your own DIY cosplay custom latex prosthetics. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that subscribe button, tell a friend, uh, share the information out there with your buddies who might need to know how to do this kind of thing, and uh, I really do appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next video that's coming out where I do a Darth Maul makeup where I use the latex horns that we just made in this video, just to kind of bring the whole thing together so you can see how you go from prosthetics to a complete makeup. So stay tuned.